Good morning and welcome to the video for Wednesday, May the 13th. This is going to be our lesson video for third grade. So today we're working with describing the sides of polygons. And to do that, we're going to be talking about what kinds of lines make up the shape. Now, normally we're talking about line segments to be more specific because we are going to have things joined together. Uh, but for the moment, we're going to talk about uh, just normal lines. So we're gonna pretend that we go in each direction forever. So we have intersecting lines, so those are going to cross each other. It doesn't have to be at a 90 degree angle. Perpendicular lines are going to cross each other, but have to make a 90 degree angle. And then parallel lines will never cross each other. So they're not going to form any angles because they will never meet each other. So let's take a look at this polygon that we have. This is going to be a trapezoid, and we want to talk about what kind of intersecting um, or perpendicular or parallel lines we can find. So uh, to start with, they want us to take a look at the kind of orangish looking one and the bluish looking one, and those are going to meet and form an angle. So they are going to be an example of intersecting lines. I'm not going to take the time to write everything in. Um, so these two lines are going to intersect as well. So our red and blue lines are going to intersect but they are going to meet at a right angle, which would make them perpendicular lines. And then our top and bottom lines are going to be parallel to each other. So if these lines continued forever, they would always be the same distance apart, but they are never going to meet. So I am going to say that we have one pair of parallel sides. And so the definition for a trapezoid is that it has to have at least one pair of parallel sides. Um, and then there are other things that can also happen um, with that. So let's take a look at uh, the try this at the top. So we want to try to draw a polygon with only one pair of parallel sides. And then we also want to draw a polygon with two pairs of parallel sides. And so um, we are going to outline each pair of parallel sides with a different color. So um, to start with, I'm just going to use black. And so I am going to make a shape that looks like this. And so it's going to look kind of similar to uh, what you see for number four. So I'm going to have one pair of parallel sides and assuming that I drew this correctly, it looks like it's a little bit crooked. This should all be the same line. I should probably fix that. Um, make it look just a little bit nicer. There we go. So this line would be parallel to this line. This line is not parallel to this line. Uh, we would have a perpendicular line here, and we would have an intersecting uh, pair of lines right here for this corner. Um, so for uh, the second option, I am going to use two different colors. So I am actually going to make a rectangle. And that rectangle, the red sides are going to be um, parallel to each other, and the orange sides are going to be parallel to each other. So this would be a polygon with four sides that would have four um, perpendicular angles. And so that would be a uh, four ni uh, 90 degree or right angles for that. And then that kind of matches what we have going on for number one. So um, except I can't really tell what's going on here. It looks like this should also be a C, but it's kind of blurred. Um, so C and uh, whatever this other one looks like. Oh, I see what they did. <laughs> so A and C are parallel to each other and B and T are parallel. So C and A, B and D. Um, what I'm used to seeing is we just label them the same. Uh, normally the way that we would label them the same moving forward would be to put little marks on them. Um, so you will see something like this that shows that these two sides are parallel to each other, these two sides are parallel to each other, but this side and this side have a different measurement. Um, so you'll see that as we go into fourth grade and on. 
Um, so for number two, we want to look at the green sides, say whether they are parallel, intersecting, or perpendicular. Same thing for number three and same thing for number four. So go ahead and take a look at those real quick. Pause the video if you need to, and when you're ready, hit play, and we will go ahead and talk through our answers. So for number two, we have parallel sides. So I'm going to do uh, PA for that to abbreviate. For this one, we are going to have two lines that intersect, but they do not uh, come to a 90 degree angle. So that would just be intersecting lines. And then for number four, we are going to have perpendicular. So I'm going to put PE for that one. For number five, uh, we are going to do the same thing. So five, six, and seven. Again, go ahead and pause the video real quick if you need to. Um, I think this lesson's easy enough that you probably have already figured these out. Um, so number five, again, if you're ready uh, to move on, uh, otherwise go ahead and pause. Uh, number five is going to be parallel lines again, so I'm going to do PA for that. Uh, number six is going to be perpendicular, so I'm going to put PE for that. And number seven is going to be intersecting. It looks very, very close to being a right angle, but if we were to look really close and kind of turn our heads sideways, we would have a straight line that would be coming out like this to make a 90 degree angle. So it's just a little bit larger, so it'd be an obtuse angle uh, for that. Let's go ahead and talk through what you're going to do for the homework. Um, oh, I'm sorry, we've got one more page. I wanted to do this part um, to kind of look at some things. So which blocks appear to have intersecting sides? So every single one of these blocks um, is going to have intersecting sides. Now, they could also be um, perpendicular sides as well. So every single one of these. Now, just because they have intersecting sides going this direction doesn't mean we can't also um, identify some other things about them. So um, block A is going to have a parallel side. Block B is not. Block C is going to have two pairs of parallel sides, um, and block D is going to have one pair, and block E is going to have two pairs. So A, C, D, and E. Which blocks have perpendicular sides? So when we're looking for perpendicular sides, we're usually looking at a square or a rectangle. And so sometimes a triangle as well, um, because if we have a right triangle that would look a little bit like this, if I could draw it correctly, um, then we would have a pair of perpendicular sides for that triangle. Um, but usually we're looking at a square or a rectangle, our representation uh, for that type of shape would be block E. Um, again, um, all of these other shapes are capable of having a right angle. Um, and so which blocks have neither parallel or perpendicular sides? So um, that would be letter B. So with this type of triangle, which you will learn later is an acute triangle, um, all of the lines are going to be, or all of the, yeah, all the lines that make up the shape are intersecting, um, and none of the uh, lines would be parallel to each other. <clears throat> uh, for the box at the right, how many pairs of edges are perpendicular line segments? So uh, let's think about that. So I'm going to have uh, four different faces. Let's just say um, that all of the faces that we're looking at are going to be the same. So for just one of these, I'm going to have one pair of edges that are perpendicular line segments here. This is another one. We could say the same thing for these, and we could say the same for this. So we would say that we would have four, per, excuse me, four per side. And then if we want to get really, really specific, we could go ahead and work around the other side. So we would have four per side times four sides to get 16 for what is showing. Now, as we move into closer to fifth grade and we start working with volume, we could also take that entire shape 
rotate it this way, and then find uh, four pairs of perpendicular sides on that side as well. Um, and then we could do the same thing for the top. So um, we could say that we could also have uh, 24. So starting with what's here, we could say that we have four sides or four pairs of perpendicular sides um, or line segments for this side. And then we have six sides in a box, so we could also include the top for that. So we could potentially have 24 if we're just counting um, the edges that are showing and not counting the bottom and the top, we would end up with 16. Um, so number 13, can two lines be parallel, perpendicular, and intersecting at the same time? So think about that for just a second. And uh, let's go back to the very beginning of our lesson. Or actually, we could do this. So let's say that my parallel lines are D. Can my parallel lines that have to continue in the same direction uh, forever ever meet? And so the answer to that is no. The best we can do is to have it be intersecting and perpendicular because um, all perpendicular lines are going to be intersecting. Uh, whereas not all intersecting lines would end up being perpendicular. So no. And the parallel part is what keeps it from being any of the other two. So let's talk through the homework real quick. Um, there will be a separate video for this uh, that will come out on Thursday morning. So they want us to kind of uh, look at the dashed lines to figure out if they are going to be parallel, perpendicular, intersecting. Um, and so you'll be using all three of those as we go through there. Uh, for number seven, they want you to say how many of the shapes have parallel sides and give the names of those, um, give the names of the shapes that appear to have perpendicular sides. So if you see something that looks like this, but we don't see the little right angle symbol, assume that it is a right angle unless it looks obviously different, okay? Um, and then number nine, an example of a perpendicular uh, set of lines inside or outside your classroom. Again, you could just go ahead and look around any room in your house uh, to give some examples of that. So uh, if we talk about the floor to um, the kind of door frame of a room or the ceiling to a door frame or uh, one um, following along the floor, uh, one line along there until you reach a corner. Um, either on the floor or the ceiling uh, could be other examples. You could also take a look at objects that you have. So a table um, would potentially have perpendicular lines depending on the shape of that table, um, especially if it's a rectangular or square table. Uh, for instance, a rectangular table could look like this if you're looking down at it. Um, so number one and two on the back, um, they just want you to give how many pairs of parallel sides. And again, uh, number two, <laughs> again, they want uh, you to write the letter names for the matching pairs. Um, <clears throat> for number five, you are going to count the total number of line segments going around. And number six, uh, we're working with one part being shaded in, so it would be one over the number of parts that make up that shape. So uh, that is the lesson as well as the homework problems for today. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in Google Classroom or you can ask your classroom teacher. Um, I think the idea is probably a little bit more simple than uh, the length of time that it took me to explain it. So apologies uh, if this video is a little bit longer for students that pick this up right away. Uh, I just wanted to make sure I was explaining it as clearly as possible. So again, homework video will be coming out tomorrow. Uh, which will be Thursday, and then we'll have a new lesson and homework video for Friday. So have a wonderful day, and I will see you tomorrow.